Thanks, John. As Margaret Thatcher was laid to rest this week, many reflected not only on her political legacy, but also on the Christian principles that she lived by. UK correspondent Peter Wooding spoke with some key Christian leaders who testified to her strong faith. While Margaret Thatcher will be remembered for her political legacy as Prime Minister for 11 years, many leaders have been highlighting the Christian values she stood for as a committed believer. Baroness Thatcher, who grew up in the Methodist Church, died of a stroke at the age of 87. Lord Carey, who was the Archbishop of Canterbury, said Margaret Thatcher's Christian faith underpinned everything she stood for as a leader, which was epitomised in her famous speech when she quoted from St Francis of Assisi. Well, she was a very explicit Christian. I mean, in that famous statement, Francis of Assisi, she was actually saying this these are the values I want to live my life by. Baroness Caroline Cox, now a well-known campaigner on behalf of the persecuted church, remembers the time she was summoned to number 10 Downing Street by Margaret Thatcher to be told that she was being recommended to become a peer in the House of Lords. Well, I was glad I was sitting down because I would certainly have fallen down with amazement if I'd not been sitting down. But then what was really impressive was she said, you know, you've always got freedom to speak and vote according to conscience. Baroness Cox also believes Margaret Thatcher was driven by her Christian principles, particularly when she was campaigning for Christianity to be taught in schools. I think she was very clear in those Christian values. Um, one of the areas where I was active in the 1980s was trying to bring Christianity, the teaching of our Christian heritage, back into the teaching of religious education in our schools. Margaret Thatcher gave me a lot of personal support. For 15 years, Harvey Thomas directed missions in the UK for Billy Graham, before serving as Margaret Thatcher's press and public relations director from 1978 to 1991. I think the thing that she said to me most of all in, what, 13 and a half, nearly 14 years, was, no, we've got to do it this way because it's right. Now, whether she was or not, people have the right to judge and history will judge. But her motivation was because she believed it was the right thing to do and that's why she did it. Now, that came from her Christian faith. And her strong belief in God and her adherence to Christian values inspired her policies. Lord Carey suggests it was her commitment to those universal truths that left a lasting impact on Great Britain and led to the end of the Cold War. He says despite his sadness at her passing, he is reassured that her quality of life is now far greater in heaven. Well, I feel a sense uh, of sadness because I th she was um, a great uh, leader. As Christians believe During that when we die, ceremony. we're with the Lord and that um, we take for granted that is where she is. So as the country pays their respects during Margaret Thatcher's funeral, many will remember that unlike many of those who succeeded her, she refused to bend and compromise those beliefs which helped make Great Britain great. Peter Wooding for CBN News, London, England.